I am doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna do a clean with me, which is something I haven't done before, but we're gonna be cleaning up my craft room. I'll flip the camera around here in just a second and I'll show you everything that we're gonna be working on. Um, I'm gonna be uploading a video to YouTube while we're cleaning. We're gonna be jamming out to some music because duh. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna get this office cleaned back up. As many of you guys know, the last few months I've been focused on passing my NCLEX, which I did. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. And as a result, everything's a mess. By everything, I literally mean my entire house. <laughs> so it's time to start getting everything cleaned up. I like to go room by room. So we're starting today in the office, getting everything cleaned up in here. I still have stuff from the spring release setting out. I have some stuff down here that goes in the building. I have stuff to donate, stuff to throw away. So we've got a lot to go through today. I, um, I'm going to try to reorganize some things and clean some things out too. I also have planners I got to separate for giveaways. I have a few teachers that I know that um, I'm going to give some planners to and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started and start cleaning. But first I'll show you everything that we have going on. Here is just a little overview of the office. It's not too bad. To me, it's a disaster, but in reality, it's not really that bad. I do want to get all of my nursing stuff cleaned up though. Burn it? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to, well, I might burn some of it. Um, but anyways, this is my desk. I do need to make a list really quickly. I'm uploading a video, but I need to make a list before we start. And then I have to upload a video. We got to get this desk all cleaned up, planner stuff put away. We have cords laying around. And then over here, I'm trying not to move you too fast. Over here, this stuff up here is all from the spring release. This was everything that I received inside of my Happy Planner, uh, be hap or not Be Happy Box, um, Squad Box. So I am a part of the Happy Planner Squad. That's the stuff that they sent me, and we have to find a place to put all that stuff. This stuff down here, some is trash, some is donate, some is keep. That needs to go outside um, to our building. And yeah, we are going to go ahead and get started. Hey, hey, my friends, voiceover Ashley here. Like I said, I needed to do a, uh, make a checklist, a to-do, or blah, 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 I can't even talk. <laughs> I needed to make a checklist. So the day after this, I was running to Sam's Club to stock up on some items, and I needed to make a list of the things that I needed to get. So I did that. I also updated my planners, and then I double-checked uh, to make sure that the YouTube video that I was trying to upload was uploading smoothly. So I got all of that stuff out of the way, and then it's time to start cleaning. So the first thing that I did was went through this bin. This bin here is what housed everything that I needed for clinicals and skills lab while in nursing school. So I went through all of that stuff, whatever I needed to go, I took out, and I'm, com I'm making this bin what I use for stuff that I need to work as a nurse. So I will keep things like my stethoscope, my blood pressure cuff, um, I have a clipboard that I love. It's one of those clipboards with storage in it. And I'll keep that inside of here. I have some cheat sheets, some um, like lab value cards and things that help me. So I'll keep all of that stuff inside of this bin. And then I also have a new bag that I'm getting where I will organize some of that stuff that I'll be needing for work as well. So it's all in one location and it makes it so easy, you guys, to find what you need. Literally, like when I would come home from clinicals or whatever, whatever I needed to put away went inside of this bin. So then the next time I had clinicals or skills lab, I could find it. And that's going to be the exact same thing that I do when I start working as a nurse. All of my stuff will go inside of this one bin. I know exactly where everything's at. I don't have to search and try to figure out where stuff is. It's all nice and neat and organized, which makes my heart super happy. But it also keeps me from going bonkers with trying to find things that I lay around or lose in the house. Um, I still lose things from time to time, like mainly my coffee cup. Are you guys like me? Do you set your coffee cup down in places and you're like, where did I put it? You know how many times I've left my coffee cup in the microwave? Because <laughs> I didn't have a chance to drink it while it was hot, so I go to heat it back up and then I forget it in the microwave, yes. <laughs> that happens to me too, so I'm with you. Comment and let me know if you do that. But then I'm gonna start, that was everything, that pile right there that I cleaned out from that bin. And now we're gonna add to that pile. And the bottom of this cart has got some stuff that I was using. Uh, some of it I used like in clinicals. Some of it was uh, from past exams. I had my math book in it. I mean, just a ton of different things. So um, I sat down, started to organize all of this, went through everything, cleaned out what I didn't wanna keep, 
separated the books and stuff and I'll show you the piles that I ended up making from this here in just a few minutes. So this is, this is where I'm at so far with some of my nursing stuff. So I got that bottom part of the cart cleaned out, which makes me so happy. The books, I don't know what to do with the books. I know that this year the new nursing students all have brand new books, and I don't know if they're going to change that much. So I may reach out and see if some of them, um, if I can give them to a nursing student or something that's going to start this fall, if they'll help them. So that's what I'll do with that stuff. This is paper that I need to put up. I'm going to keep all the divider tabs Oh, we can always can use those at some point in time. All of that stuff there needs to go. But here's the other thing that I have. So if we come into my living room, over here shoved in the corner is the rest of my stuff from nursing school. And literally it is like, I know it's dark, sorry. It's like all down in there. Let me see if I can lighten this up for you guys. So I have a ton of stuff that I could probably give to someone, see if they want it. So I'll do that another day though. I really don't want to mess with that right now. But I did want to get this stuff out of my office cleaned up. So we did that part for now. I'm sure that there's more. So let's go back in here and uh, we're going to take, hmm, how am I going to do this? I'm going to take all the books and take them in there so everything's there together and I'll put up the paper and the rest of the stuff. That's just gonna be my pile of stuff that I'm gonna get rid of, so we're gonna leave it there for now. So the stuff that's on the floor in my closet desk, that's what I call this little area over there. The Cricut box, that's the box that's gonna go out to my building and then this other big box that you're gonna see me pull out Back in January, I did a decluttering challenge with myself, and this is some of the items that I uh, need to finish going through. So these items inside of this big giant box, those are things that, um, like some of it does need to be thrown away, but a lot of it I'm going to give to friends and family, and I'll just send them pictures, and they'll, um, if they want it, they can have it. If not, I'll donate it. So I'm getting that box out of there so I can go through that later on. There's another smaller box, but that has my Ray Dunn stuff from Valentine's Day, and I need to get a tote to put that stuff in to put my decorations up. I just haven't done that yet. So for now, that will have to stay down there. But at least I got the big box out of the way. And I did end up taking the cricket box out to the building. So I'm excited about that. You guys, my mom got me this. World's best nurse. And I've had it sitting back there waiting until I pass my NCLEX to pull this out. So we get to pull this out now and we get to um, decorate with it. It is Ray Dunn. And if you know me, I love Ray Dunn. I love collecting it. I love finding it. It's kind of like the happy planner stuff. Like when you're out on the hunt for it and then you find something that you love and you're like, ah, um, that was a little dramatic, but that's how I am with Ray Dunn stuff. So I'm excited to, uh, to get to use this. How cute is it? Moms are the best, aren't they? They always find the good things for you. So we're gonna decorate with this a little bit. I'm not sure where I wanna put it yet. Um, this thing here is what I was using to film, but this area up here is a little bit of a disaster, but I think I'm gonna take the Happy Easter down and put up World's Greatest Nurse. Or, hold on, I'm gonna spin you here for a second. Do I like it up there? I think I like it up here actually. Right about there, a slight little angle. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. All right, like I said earlier, the things that are on the closet desk are the items that the Happy Planner sent me as a part of my uh, spring squad box. And so what I'm doing now is I have this other little box and I'm gonna go through everything. So the things that are gonna go inside of the box are 
planners and planner supplies that I will use for giveaways that I do over on Instagram. And then I also have some family and friends and teachers and stuff that I know that will take um, some of the planners and I'll gift them to them. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just going every going through everything, deciding what I want to keep, what I'm going to gift or give away. And then um, from there, I will show you where I'm putting everything up that I decided to keep. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up. So I ended up taking everything from the closet desk and I stuck it on this other desk. And then I was taking it from the desk and I was organizing it on this Calyx unit. This is a um, an organization unit thing from Ikea. Actually most of the furniture in my office is from Ikea and I will link as much as, as I need to slow down. I'm talking way too fast, I'm getting tongue twisted. I need to link as much of it, or no that's not what I was saying, I was gonna say I will. I will link as much of it as I can down below in the description box so you can check it out. But I have everything on this um, unit organized in a way that makes sense to me. So I have like all of my old planners that are already used all together. I have future planners, so the planners that start in July, those are all together. And if you're new and you're watching this and you're like, holy cow, she has so many planners. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> it is a slight obsession. Um, I. I never would have thought in a million years, if you would have told me that at, when did I start this? Was I 27, 26, 27? Um, that I would get into planning as much as I have, loving planners, loving stickers, decorating my spreads for the week. Like, I would have never believed you whatsoever. But now that I'm in it, I'm like, yes, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> it's a happy addiction. It's a happy obsession. I love it. So, um, yes, I do have a lot of planners. And I'm totally okay with that. Uh, so anyways, I have everything organized. I have all my old planners together. I have planners that start in July together. I have my current planners together. Um, and then I have some like accessories together. I have my stickers organized in a way that makes sense in my head. So like I said here, I was just getting everything from the closet desk that I just showed you a minute ago. I'm getting all of those planner supplies put up where they go.
So now I'm getting some stickers put away and organizing my stickers. And as you've seen, I moved my Cricut mats so I could hang stickers up on the side of my desk. Command strips in a craft room are amazing. Actually, command hooks, not just the strips. Make sure you get the hooks. They are amazing. You can hang so many things up on them. I have bags hanging on command hooks, my Cricut mats, stickers. Um, I used to hang flashcards when I was in nursing school in there. Like, I'd get one of those metal rings, and I would keep that current exams flashcards hanging on a command hook on my desk so I always knew where they were so that's a little tip for you I definitely recommend picking up some command hooks they won't tear up your desk at least they haven't tore up my desk um, you might want to try it before you do it but I've never had a problem with them tearing up anything I think one time um, I had a command hook tear up our wall it just ripped the paint off that was it um, but I use command hooks everywhere and actually if you guys didn't know this um, I don't show a clip of it, but my entire living room, everything in there is hung up with command strips. <laughs> my husband told me a long time ago that he was, um, no more putting holes in the walls, Ashley. And I was like, okay, all right. Well, when I hang everything up with command strips and it falls off and hits you in the head, I don't want to hear you complain. And that was my response, you know, but, um, nothing has fallen down. So, <laughs> uh, it worked out. It worked out. We haven't put holes in the wall. Um, and everything's hung up with command strips. I do have a really giant heavy clock though in our kitchen that I hung up with command strips because if that falls on somebody, especially my child, that would cause some damage because it's really heavy. It's a big, big circle chunk of wood. So that is hung up with a screw. But um, other than that, everything else is hung up with command strips. Um, let's talk about organizing stickers. If you guys, I'm assuming most of you that are watching this video, you are already subscribed to me and you know that I, um, like I talked about earlier, I have a lot of planners, I have a lot of stickers and stuff, and I'm assuming that you do too. But let me know down in the comments, like, what is your system for organizing your stickers? So, I used to have a really systematic way of organizing stickers. I did it by release. So, if I got 10 sticker books from a release, they all went together. And I did that for every release. But now, the way that I have everything organized, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Uh, so just let me know how you guys organize it. I'm, con I'm con honestly considering taking all of my sticker books and reorganizing everything. But the task itself sounds a little daunting, so I haven't done it yet. But I'm curious. Tell me how you organize your stickers. Give me some ideas. And then um, if I do end up reorganizing them, I will make a video and I'll share with you guys how I'm doing it.
Oh my gosh, the top of this unit was so dusty. I mean, I probably could have took all the dust and collected it and like knitted a sweater. <laughs> That's how dusty it was. Oh, okay, that was a little bit dramatic, but seriously, it was it was really, really dusty up there. Does your guys' house get super dusty really easy? Because mine does. Like, I know people who there's never dust in their house. Like, ever. And then my house, it's like, where does this stuff come from? Oh my goodness, but I'm just glad I got it dusted and got it cleaned up. This is such a weird angle, but I'm gonna go with it. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's set this up better. All right, so I went ahead and I swept everything. I didn't film it, it was just sweeping, nothing fancy. Also, good moms say bad words. Favorite shirt ever. Uh, so I'm gonna be done with cleaning. Like I said, I ran out of time today. Do you guys know that feeling that you get whenever you finish cleaning and um, it's like, uh, just kind of relief? I don't have that feeling today. <laughs> I definitely don't because I didn't get to everything that I wanted to, which is okay, it happens. I did I did get the desk over there cleaned off. I got all my cleaners and stuff put away. I'm getting this stuff um, out of here. I got nursing school stuff gone through some of it anyways. So I did make a good little dent into things, but I still wanna declutter some more and um, do a deeper clean where I'm dusting things a little bit better and sweeping and mopping and all the things. Um, but like I said, if you guys want to see that, let me know. This is my first ever clean with me video, so I've never done this before. I hope I did okay. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.